Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. How was your day? Good evening. Mm. Good evening. Como una Lavando todo el día. <laughs> Watching today. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Did you? I do. I do my homework yesterday. Okay, doing your homework. Okay, good. Um, you didn't, you didn't go to the to your job today, Maria, Leticia. No. No. It's red, red, libre. Off. Day off. Yes. Yeah. Day off. Was mm -hmm. your day off? Okay. Good. <clears throat> okay, let me just open my, well, let me share my presentation just a moment. So doing the laundry today, all day. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, today is July uh, July eleven. This is the class number six. <coughs> so welcome everyone. Welcome to this class. Uh we are going to start unit number two. Okay, so we have the agenda. The agenda for today, we're going to read the paragraph about your work experiences. Okay, we're going to talk about schedule activities in the workplace. And at the end, we're going to have a conversation practice. So at the end of this class, you will be able to write a paragraph about your work experience and talk about special activities in your workplace. Okay, uh, first I have an activity that is about simple present. Okay, we're going to review quick how to uh, make questions with the do and does. Okay, because I, I, I consider that it's necessary to make a review about how to create a question, okay? Yesterday we were, uh, or days before, we were practicing by how to make questions and I identified that we need to improve that. Okay, good. How will be the order of this sentence? This is an scramble um, sentences. How will be the order? Huh? Does does she does Lisa does like us? Does she like? Does Lisa like, like cats? cats? Yes, does. she does. Yes. Yes, she does. Okay. That is a yes no question or is an information question? How can you identify is that a, is that yes no questions or information question? Information question. Okay, remember that in in this answer, the only information that we have is yes. Right? It's your answer. Okay. It's your answer. Okay. Or just no question. Right? Because we don't have. I'm sorry. Mute, mute your microphone if you have noise, if you have someone talking around you. Okay. Um, information question is the one that we, that 
has WH questions at uh, the beginning, WH word at the beginning. For example, if we say, why does Lisa like cat? So in that case will be an information question because we're asking reasons why. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So let me let me continue. Next one. Uh -huh. what, will, what will be first? Does. 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 Tiger. The tiger. Mm -hmm. That's the tiger. Eat, eat, eat vegetables. Eat. eat vegetables. Eat vegetables. Not that same vegetable. Okay. Yeah. Does a tiger eat vegetable? No. Not that same. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, remember that it means a uh, third person is third person we, when we are talking about objects or animals, we can use it. Okay, very good. <coughs> Number three, what will be the first word? Mm -hmm. That's monkey. That's monkey baby. That's monkey baby. That's the baby monkey. monkey. Drink milk. Drink milk. Drink milk. Yes, that's it. Yes. Yes, it does. It does. It does. Yes, it does. Okay. Very good. The last roll two. Does he? Does Walter maybe? Does Walter like fish? No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Does Walter like fish? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Does you cannot sleep a lot? Does your cat? Mm -hmm. Does your cat sleep a lot? Sleep a lot. Sleep a lot. <clears throat> a lot. Yes. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. That's it. That's baby mouse. That's the baby mouse. Mm Mm -hmm. That's a baby mouse. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Does Emma like bananas? Okay. Does Emma like bananas? No, she doesn't. No, no she, she doesn't. doesn't. She doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay. Very good. Okay, that is the way that we are going to create or that we are going to make questions with the auxiliary <coughs> gas. 
okay we are speaking now about third person that is why we are using das okay that's lisa that's the tiger that's the baby that's walter that's your cat that's the baby that's edma so all of them are third person okay if we have uh this is third person singular hello have... teacher good evening good evening liliana welcome okay hey. if... yes uh do you remember uh the the third person tell me the third person he uh-huh he she it he she uh -huh. he, she, she, it. it. Okay, good. If, if we're talking about Lisa, it means that it's she, right? If we're talking about Walter, it means that it's he, okay? Okay, very good. Questions about this? He. Carlos? No questions? Yes. Or do you have questions? No questions. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, before we continue, I'm going to, to send the link, the one that we're going to use. Send a paragraph. Okay, uh, let me send it. Hey, Jose Andres. Okay, here is the link. Let me send it to by WhatsApp to the paragraph, the homework paragraph. Please send it there. We are going to read it at the end of the class, if we have time. If no, I will read it uh, tomorrow morning, and I will let you know um, if you need feedback. Okay, let me see. Okay, there you have the link also in, in WhatsApp. Teacher, esa es la tarea que dejó ayer. Yes. Okay. Do you have access to the chat? Let me know if you have difficulties to paste the the, the paragraph. Okay, just go here go go here to this sign. Write your name, for example. Sure. Your complete name. <clears throat> Then just paste the paragraph that you already have. Because I guess you already have it, right? And, the, and after that, just publish here. Carlos, if you want to edit your, this um, post, go here just to edit. And then you can paste. Your... Okay, only only my name. Only my name. Sure. Your complete paragraph. You see, Wilbur Martinez okay. already pasted his paragraph here. Okay, Daniela, thank you. Mm -hmm. it says my name is Wilbur Martinez. 
I'm 42 years old. I'm a professional account. No se le da vuelta a esa, esa cosa. Uh -huh. I'm a professional accountant, but currently my other job is a lock, locksmith. My first job was a coffee cashier in 2000. Then I applied to an accountant assistant position position in which I worked to for six. I have been working here for six years from 2004 to 2009. Uh -huh. Since 2010, I work I work in my own business, okay? Or I started to work in my own business. Mm -hmm. In higher studies, I did in the Latin American University. However, I didn't finish my studies. Finally, I'm managing my my lock, locksmith business, of which soon I will open a new branch. Oh, okay. Very good. What is still missing some punctuation there? Okay, remember punctuation is really important to clarify the ideas. Make sure you check punctuation, okay? Okay, very yes. good. Uh, I'm waiting for the rest. Okay, yes, as, as I said, we're going to continue reading the, the, the paragraph at the end of the class if we have time, okay? Let me see. Okay, thank you, Maria Leticia, Daniela, Lady, Wilbur. Okay, so we are going to do the other activities and then at the end I will be checking your paragraph. Okay. Let me see. Okay, this is one question that I have for you. What is your regular day at your workplace like? How busy are you? Carlos? What is the answer that you had for this question? How busy are you in your in your workplace every day? Uh, okay, good evening. In my case, teacher, uh, when I write at my uh, workplace, um, I try to the review uh, all checks checks of the staff, uh, step by step, the department of department and. Um, received call and uh, interactuar, ¿cómo se dice? Interact. Interact with my like a worker uh, and maybe ask them a question about the uh, check of the, of the staff uh, and also, uh, I relation with uh, human resource because uh, in the final of the payroll, I uh, entrego, ¿cómo se dice? Entrego. You hand in. It's uh, físicamente hand. In. Yes, yes, I hand in the. The payroll print mm -hmm. yes and and then a uh, word about the review the payroll and then they pay okay okay very good that's it teacher very good thank you so much carlos what okay. about you maria leticia what you normally do in your workplace what is your regular day? Mm -hmm. 
my normal work day consists of caring for patients. Mm. Um, receiver. Receive. Receive me medic medicamentos medic medical 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 uh, stuff or yes. medis or medicines or medicine ordenar en vitrina <laughs> lo que llega order mm -hmm. order medic medicine. Oh, ordenar ordenar ajá ordenar okay. Okay, organize. Organize medicine. Mm -hmm. in and the, yeah, in in the let me see how do you say that. Vitrina, you say vitrina. Yes, right? yes. But son como another another word that you can use for that in Spanish. Estante. Eh. Estante, ah, ajá, eh, pero bueno, hoy son vitrinas, nos cambiaron a vitrinas esta semana, nos cambiaron de estantes a vitrinas. Oh, ok. Sí. Ok. Estantes in English, let me see, I remember that is shelves, ajá, it is shelves, that is estante, mm -hmm. but vi vitrina. Shelves. Okay. Or rack. Vitrina. Uh -huh. Maybe rack. Show, showcase. Showcase. Uh -huh. Show, showcase. showcase. That is uh, where you can see, right? Because it is like a transparent. Like a vitrine. Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is showcase. Okay. Showcase. That is, okay. that is a new word for me too. Showcase. Is the vitrina okay? Good. What else, Leticia? Do you call someone to uh, to advise that the medicine is ready or not? Do you report that? No. 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 Okay. Only or... the doctor, uh, maybe. Uh... Recommended medicine, in my view. Mm. Or not necessary? No necessary. Algunas, okay. algunas sí tienen que llevar receta, pero son especiales, como los, todos los antibióticos. Antibi antibiotics? Yes. <laughs> okay. Teacher, how do you say receta? Receta is prescription. Okay, prescription. Prescription okay. medical. Mm -hmm. Prescription medical. Medical, 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 medical prescription. Prescri medical prescription, yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay. Who else wants to participate? Answering this question, what is your regular day at work? Raise your hand. Okay, lady. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, in my case, sometimes I am in office, but other days I have to visit the school, mm -hmm. municipalities, libraries, and more place of learning. My day are regular, are very busy. I imagine. Okay. Thank you so much, lady. Okay, who else wants to answer this question? Remember, practice is important, okay? If you practice, 
The more you practice, the more you you learn. Teacher, I would like to uh, listen to you about this this uh, bold question. My answer for that question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so I have. Do you jobs. teach with with kids, with children? If I work with with kids, no. No. Okay. No. So I'm working now uh, in a call center during the day between eight to to five, and okay. then and then I work with you right from from eight to to ten. Uh, what we normally do, well, we receive emails. I reply emails, and also I receive some calls. I'm sorry that I had to mute someone. Uh, I received some calls, not a lot of calls, maybe uh, five calls during the day. If that is necessary, I had to call um, another department to request assistance, right? And they give an answer to to the company because we, uh, we work with companies. Uh, Basically, we provide assistance from a website that they use to order online product. Um, if they have issues with the orders, they call us to verify what is happening, why they haven't received the, the product. So we need to verify that information in the system and then uh, provide the correct information to the customer, right? Uh, there are cases that it is easier, it is very easy just to identify the problem because we can view the information in, in the system that we have access to check. But there are cases that we need to call the, the provider. So the provider, for example, do you know about Office Depot? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is one provider. So, okay. yeah, in case that we need to call Office Depot, we call Office Depot to see what is happening with the order and they give us more information and then we provide that information to the caller. But uh, it is another company, for example, schools, offices, doctors, uh, offices, um, different places, but like uh, companies. Okay. Not not individ individuals, people like uh, if I want to order, right? No, they don't have access to order products in that website. It is just for companies. It's very, okay. very easy. I like it. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And then you have just... you have pain. Sorry. You have pain. <laughs> what do you? Yes. <laughs> no, no, it is it, it is just for it is just an example, right? Okay, how you can okay. how you can explain. And at the same time, I prepare your presentation. So I prepare your presentation for every day based on the on the material that I have, right? Or if I look for another activity. So that is what I do in, in a regular day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who else wants to answer this question? Nobody? Oh, Gilberto, go ahead, Gilberto. Uh, teacher, in my case, regular day, in workplace, busy client in, in the market in San Salvador, uh, busy markets, Santa Ana and basic client customer <clears throat> from Sonate, the offer products for for example cinnamon, garlic, pimienta, comino, ex except. Mm -hmm. Wow, you offered that this product to the to the supermarket. Right? 
And no market market informant. Ah, uh, okay. Supermarket uh, the other the other the other partner basic supermarket. Visit the supermarket. Okay. Good. Pepper. So that is pimienta, okay? Pepper. Yes. Pepper. Pepper. Comino. Yes. I don't know if comino. Pepper. Is... Let's see. Comino. If that is comino, comino. Hmm. I don't know if that is... Uh... That is just a, a proper name. Si es un nombre propio, no podemos traducirlo. Homing. Aha, uh -huh, but I'm not sure if that is the correct. Coming. It's cumin. Cumin. C U M I N. Cumin. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, I found an example. Mm -hmm. Ginger is jengibre, right? Yeah, cumin will be um, comino. Cumin. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you, Gilberto. Okay, Robert, go ahead, Robert. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my answer for this question. What is the regular day at your workplace like? How busy are you? Mm -hmm. in, in my case, I start work at 7.15 a.m. First, turn on my computer. Then I check the emails. And after that, I call my boss for, for information. Then... Uh, for example, in my in my company, my position in my company is a quality auditor, and mm -hmm. I check different different brands of cloth. For example, Adidas, mm -hmm. New Balance, Under Armour, Champion, and others. In my process, I check different accessories to the to the brand. For example, pocket bottom uh, labels uh, and other uh, this is my activities in the process um, in the in the morning i i have a meeting with my with my boss or my co-workers and in the afternoon i continue with the process and i finish activities at 4 45 p.m then I, I come back to my my home. Okay, good, good, Robert. Do you have these counts in the products? Uh, uh, what do you mean discount, teacher? Descuentos. Oh, oh, benefits for, for the brands. Benefits, Is, okay. Yeah, I, I don't have benefits. It because um, the clothes of the rank is for export exportation. And for example, the price of the one shirt is um, maybe $70, $90. It's very expensive. I see. Okay. The prices for, for the. Yeah, shirts. yeah, okay. the prices. Okay. Accessories. If you said accessorios. Accessories. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks, because of the time, we're going to continue with the next, next activity. But thank you so much for the ones that already participated. Okay. Okay, we have here a conversation. Let me read it for you and then you will practice, okay? It says, Will and Orson, okay? Will says, this kitchen looks great. And Orson says, it does. 
who is in charge of cleaning cleaning it jessica is the clean she cleans the kitchen from monday to wednesday she does a really good job indeed but doesn't jessica take orders during the morning shift no she doesn't jorge does he takes orders from 10 a.m to 2 p.m i get it and who does after him who does after him ¿Quién lo hace después de él? does his brother take the orders after him yes he does okay okay do you know what is shift uh no teacher uh i know that is a, a tecla of the <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the, my keyboard. <laughs> okay, but in this case means um, um la jornada, okay? Okay. Jornada de, jornada de trabajo, como su horario de trabajo. And what else? Let me see. Indeed, do you know what is that? What what is the meaning of indeed? Efectivamente. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Who wants to read it? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Carlos? Me. Who, who else? Maria? Me. Yes. Okay. Carlos and Maria and then Lady and Daniela. Go ahead. Carlos, okay. you, will be, you will be Will. Okay. Uh, this, chick, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. In indeed or in the indeed indeed indeed. But doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't call her does. He takes orders. Creo que esa comienza desde el no, ¿verdad? Oh, sí, ¿verdad? Oh, oh, Yo me le... Okay. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Le... Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I got it. And who, does, uh, who doesn't offer him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Good job. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, she does. Okay, pay attention to the punctuation, okay? Because when it, there is a period or that, you can say period or that, post, van a ser pausa, okay? Okay, very good. So, thank you so much, Carlos and Maria. Now, Robert and okay, thank you. Daniela. Go ahead, Robert and Daniela. Okay, I am Will. Are you ready, Daniela? I'm ready. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is jerk of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Very yes. good job. Good job. Thank you so much, Robert and Daniela. Okay, I, I'm uh, checking here your names and I can see someone that says oyente. 
I don't know who is that person. Do you mind, please, if you change your name? If you cannot uh, do it, um, if you are here, you can log, log off and then try to log in again with your name, okay? Remember, la palabra oyente will be entre paréntesis a la par de su nombre si usted está de oyente okay because I don't know who is that person I will take the attendance after this activity okay Lady and Cindy now thank you so much go ahead this kitchen looks great it does who is the chair of cleaning it Jessica is she cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Yours does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I got it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, lady and Cindy. Okay, someone else? Volunteers? No more? Okay, let me That's take me. that then. then. Oh, sorry? Gilberto, do you want to participate? Okay. <clears throat> okay, who wants to participate with Gilberto? Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, hey, so go ahead. Okay. Oh. Okay, Hazel, I am starting. Perfect, Gilberto. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans. The kitchen from Mondays or two Wednesdays? She does a really good job. Yeah, indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? shift? shift. No, she doesn't. Her he does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? She he does. Yes, he does. Thank you. Thank you, Gilberto. Okay, good job. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, let me take that attendance now. Okay, la persona que dice que está de oyente. May I know, please, your name? Hola, hola, teacher. Silvia Molina. Silvia. Okay, Silvia. Thank you so much. Please make sure that uh, you add your name, okay? Agregue su nombre porque si no, nos van a regañar. Okay, okay. Okay. Let me see. Liliana, Laura? Liliana, Laura? Creo que se ha levantado, ok. Ok, Juliana. Please let me know that you are there. Julio Aristides. Present teacher. Thank you. Katy Briseida. Present. Thank you, Katy. Just one question, Katy. Uh, yesterday you didn't attend the class, right? No. No. Present. Okay. okay. Hazel Berenice. Present. Okay. Jose Andres. 
José Andrés. Creo que está trabajando, teacher. Dejo un mensaje en el chat. Oh, you're right. Okay. Lady? Present. Thank you, lady. Daniela Lisset? Present, teacher. Okay. Gilberto Benito? Present, teacher. Okay. Mauricio? Okay, I'm teacher. Okay. Um, Maria Leticia? Present teacher. Okay. Rolando Danilo? Rolando? Oh, está solo de oyente. Okay, Salvador Alberto? Presente. Okay. Roberto Carlos? Present teacher. Okay. Cindy and Nick. Present teacher. Okay. Carla y Barry. Carla. Carla. No here. Okay. Uh, William Boris. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Estela. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia, are you working? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay. I work. Where do you work, Silvia? In the one heart. I work in the. Hello. I can see. I that. work. Uh huh. The place where you work. <laughs> I work in the Lubri Centro Renderos. Oh, okay. I can see talleres. Talleres Arias Molins. Sí, mm -hmm. talleres Moltro, pero también trabajo para otra empresa. Taller Renderos. Oh, okay. Okay. Carlos Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Uh, thank you, Carlos. And Wilber Francisco. I am here, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, Carla Ibari, are you there? Carla? No, I don't see her. Okay. Okay, good job. Well, thank you for your attendance, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, discuss the answer the following and uh -huh, discuss and answer the following questions. Who cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday? According to the paragraph, do you remember who cleans the kitchen from Monday to, to Wednesday? Uh huh. Jessica, teacher. Jessica. Okay. It's Jessica. Yeah, it's Jessica. What does Jorge do? Do you remember? He takes uh, orders. He, he takes orders. orders from this. Mm -hmm. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 2 p.m. To 2 p.m. To 2 p.m. Yeah. When does Jorge's brothers take orders? After Jorge, his brother, after 2 p.m., right? After yes. 2. After 2, uh -huh, his brother takes take orders. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, how to use simple presents for schedule activities? Use a simple presence for schedule activities. Okay. For example, Matt service at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. 
Matt, we are speaking about third person. For that reason, we are going to add letter S to the main verb. Okay. Paul get to work at 1 p.m. The, the same reason why we're going to add letter S to the main verb, because it's talking about third person. If I said, you get to work at 1 p.m., is that correct? Yes or not? It's correct, teacher. If I said, if I said, you, okay, if I say, you get, Ah, no, no, without S, it's correct. It's incorrect. Okay, incorrect. If I said you get, yeah, will be correct. Okay, good. Another example that we have, Andrea cleans the tables from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., right? Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So if you if you check all the verbs have a third person I mean have s because we are speaking about third person. Okay, good. That is why I bring this chart for you. I told you that the previous class I guess last week, but I forgot that now is here. The rules, how to use S, E, S, or I, E, S. Okay, we have verbs ending in, in, with V, C, E, G, L, K, M, N, P, Q, T, U, W, and we'll end with letter S. Examples, work, okay. Let me see. Yes. It ha it doesn't have the letter S because it is the main verb in the normal way. Okay. Work. If we are talking about third person, will be works. Right? Mm. Now, yes, do you agree with this or do you have a different opinion? We are talking about the third person in just in simple present. We are not talking about past. The other example, a stay, stays. No, knows. Sit, sit. See? Sees, live, lives. Okay, we add just the letter S. Also, the vowel letter A E I O U, followed by Y, we add letter S. For example, pay, we add, we add just the letter S. Buy, buys, enjoy. <coughs> enjoys convey conveys and we have the the irregular verb that you know that change have and has the third person okay just pay attention here vowel letter all these letters followed by y we add the letter S, okay? But the verbs ending with consonant, N, Y, change for I, E, S. Look at the difference. For example, cry, it is one consonant before the, the Y, right? That is, that is why we add I, E, S. Okay, we remove the Y and we add I-E-S. Look at the example, cry, Christ, 
fly, flies. Try, tries. Hurry, hurries. Imply, implies. Deny, okay. Denies. Copy, copies. Apply, applies. Study, studies. Okay, see the difference. And now the verb and the in 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 syllabic syllabic sounds s z c h s h or x. We are going to add letter e s. Letters e s. Okay. For example, push pushes. Cash cash. Fix, fixes, confess, confesses, finish, finishes, thus, loses. Okay. When the verb end in one s or one z, we double the letter. Okay. For example, quiz, quizzes. We double the letter z, quizzes. Okay. Another verb that will end with es is the the verb go. That you know that always will will be if that is third person. Okay, goes. Okay. Do you have questions about these rules? Let me know, please. Teacher, what's mean imply? Implies. Imply. Yes. Uh, implicar. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Another question you may have? Do you know all of them? Do you know the rules? Teacher, the instruction, I think that's very clear. And let's start with the, the example. Mm -hmm. Or before to the example. Yes. So we are going to create some examples using the burst. Okay. Because if you practice, um, you will have like, mm, you will apply then in context. So it means that you will have a better uh, understanding or better idea how to use them. So I will, I will let you know what we are going to do with these X, with these verbs, okay? As a homework. So I will request that you create some sentences, but that will be as a homework, okay? Okay, no questions? Remember, simple present, okay? Just in simple present tense. No pasado, no futuro, solo presente, okay? With the third person. It means she, he, and it. Only with that, we're going to apply these rules. Okay. I will send uh, the screenshot to, to the group. I know that you can have it or you can take a picture. Let me see if I can send on a screenshot now. Okay. Well, if you don't have questions about that, we're going to move on. 
this is just a review. I know that you know how to the how the bird to be and the bird to do work, right? But in this case, um, see the difference. Do you know how how to make a difference between the bird uh be and to do when you when you ask a question? You need to identify which bird are you going to use. Okay. Uh, can someone please read the examples that we have here? Volunteer? Me. Okay, Hazel. Um, for, sorry, am I a student? Yes, that's right. Or does, since the beginning, I don't know. Um, yeah. just the differences, for example, the examples here. We know that there are just no questions. Okay. All, um, of, them, all of them, sorry, are just no questions, if you can see. Okay. okay. And, yeah, first read this, the examples that we have here. For okay. example, am I a student? Are you a student? Uh-huh. Okay. Am I a student? Are you a student? Is no. It, it can be is 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 he uh, okay? Is he a student or is she a student? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The answer will be yes. I am. Yes, you are. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. Yes, she is. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Negative? No, I am not. No, you are not. No, we are not. No, they are not. No, she is not. No, he is not. Okay, good. Now, example with do and does. Me too, yes. Okay. Do I study? Do you study? Do does uh, we study or does they study? Does he study? Does she study? Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, yes, uh, you do. Yes, we do. Yes, they does. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Okay, yes, they? They do, sorry. They do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I don't. No, you don't. No, we don't. No, they don't. No, he, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Correct. Thank you so much. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, uh, who can tell me the differences? How we're going to use, when we're going to use the bird to be and when we're going to use the bird to do. For example, I will give you an example. If I am speaking about feelings, if I am speaking about the place where I am or someone is, of course, we're going to use the verb, the verb be, right? Are you happy? Are you happy? Okay. Um, we're talking about feeling, right? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Is incorrect if you ask, do you happy? Just listen to um to the to the question right are you happy or do you happy what will be the correct question are you happy are you are you happy uh -huh. because we're talking about feelings okay how about with the other your uh, example teacher? with do and does yes so Think about that and tell me ideas that you have. ¿Cuáles serían sus ideas? 
¿Por qué utilizamos el you? Uh -huh. Maybe when the action is exactly do or, or make, for example, do I can do anything? Do I can study? Maybe. Okay. Porque, porque los verbos no están en tercera persona. <laughs> Teacher, do is is auxiliary for subject I, do, we, and they. For third person, she, it, it, we, we use does for question. Does he study? Does she study? Does. Okay. Examples, yes. There are the examples, right? Ah, uh, but why okay, we example, use... That's... Yeah, the ex... Okay, yeah. Continue, teacher. It's correct. You are providing examples with the prayer uh, to do using, sim using third person, singular or plural. It's okay. But the question is why we're going to use do and does. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, we are use do and does when uh, I need to do a question and uh, when the um, when use uh, when we use a uh, verb of action mm -hmm. when we use verb of action to describe right to describe what are you are you doing right yeah okay for example, or if I ask you, where do you live, right? I am asking the place, where do you live? Uh, if, is it incorrect if I, if I said, are you live? Where are you live? Yeah, it's incorrect. Live is some verb of action. Uh, and R is is when uh, is cero estar no es donde estamos sino que de, el vivir es viene de una acción okay but if I said where are you I ask him the place where you are where are you okay where are you so okay. it means it means that you are going to say donde está, right? To describe it's a similar what... question. It's a similar question, but a uh, use a uh, different uh, form. Mm, it is, well, it is not similar because if I ask you where are you right now, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, probably. You, so. mm -hmm, you are in a place, but you don't yeah. live in that place, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just try to think when you're going to use the verb to be and when you're going to use the verb to do. Identify, okay? Identify. Listen to the question. It, it sounds weird to you. It's because uh, it's not correct, okay? Try just to identify what kind of question or what kind of auxiliary you're going to use. Okay, if we have more questions about these, if you have doubts, please let me know. We're going to practice. I can search for an activity where we can practice both of them at the same time. Or everything is clear? Uh, teacher, could you repeat the explain? Which one they're different? Please again. Okay. When we use the verb to be, when you are um when we want to know about feelings, okay, how do you feel today? Um, but okay. we are asking, we are asking, for example, are you happy? You are going to answer yes or not. Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Are you sad? 
Are you uh, are, excited? Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh huh. So we are asking you about how about feelings, okay? Are you kidding me? Sorry. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's that correct. is correct. It is correct. Yes. Okay. Or if you want to know the place, for example, where are you? Okay. okay. Also to also um we're going to use the verb to be when we are saying, for example, uh, with the present continuous, but that is another topic, okay? So when we say, I am working, I am studying, I am um, listening to music, okay? But that is another topic that probably you already, already studied that topic, but we're going to make another review later on. That is another way that you are going to use the verb to be, okay? If I ask you, are you, are you working right now? What will be your answer? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. feelings. Feelings. Okay. Um what else? To locate where you are. To ask you where where are you located? Okay. What else? Another idea? Where are you? Mm -hmm. Where are you? So I ask him the place where are you located, right? Okay. So and the verb to do is like a to describe what actions. Okay. What are you doing? Um there are there are more scenarios that we can we are going to use the verb to do, of course. I will search for the differences between them more differences and I will let you know, okay? I remember that I have that presentation, but um, I, I don't remember which which presentation is because I have a lot of presentations, I'm sorry. But to give you more details, I will search that for you and I will let you know more details tomorrow. But if you have questions, please let me know. If I cannot answer that question today, I can answer that tomorrow. No questions? No teacher, thank you. Okay. Please let me know, okay? If you have questions, please let me know. Okay. Um, we are going to bring some examples also tomorrow in order we can work in, in examples. Questions, how to use where to do and to be. Okay. Positive forms. So we already reviewed that. Just with the third person, he, she, and it, we're going to use uh, S, E, S, and I, E, S. Okay. With the other uh, subjects, I, you, we, you, they. In this case, we're going to use a normal verb. Okay. Examples. I like it. She likes. She likes. Okay, she likes it, okay? You can join the sound, she likes it, okay? Or she likes it. Okay, negative form, um, he doesn't, she doesn't, or he does not. So it could be um, both, both of them are okay. So this is the normal way, and this is the abbreviated way, okay? And then the normal verb, okay? So 
Then we have the other subjects, I, you, we, you, they, that we're going to use, do not or don't. Okay, example, I do not like it or I don't like it. She doesn't like it or she does not like it. Okay, positive and negative form. That is, um, that is positive sentences or negative sentences, okay? So we already reviewed here the questions, how to, how to structure one question, okay? Of course, we're going to see more examples later on. So if I want to use these verbs, I'm going to create some sentences. Tell me using these verbs. Uh, for example, with third person, what will be the just think in one sentence and let me know which sentence you have in mind. For example, here it could be Maria, Leticia. We are going to use that verb. Work. Work or works? Works. Works. Work. Works. Mm -hmm. From Monday. Do you work from Monday to Friday, Maria Leticia? Or from... Mm. From Wednesday no. to... Friday. From Wednesday? Monday. Okay, your day off is Wednesday. today. Yes. Today. And Tuesday. Jueves. <laughs> Martes y jueves descanso. And Thursday. Okay, you work from Friday. No. From Friday to Monday. From Friday to Monday. From Friday. From, from, from. Okay, and. And, and also Wednesday. Okay. She works from Friday to Monday and also Wednesday. Okay. Okay, give me one example with this verb, with open. Give me one example with this verb, with open. Me, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. Gilberto, which verb? Which uh, would be the example? My company opens a working at 7 a.m. My company opens a at... working a working. Let me see. My company opens. Mm, at working. No, you know, it, it doesn't sound good. Open from seven to five. Mm -hmm. My company is open. Will be is open. My company is open from 7 a.m. to uh, what time? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. or 5 p.m.? Yes. 4, 4 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, my company opens from seven a.m. to five p to four p.m. Okay, so if we use is here, we don't use s. Okay, but if we don't okay. use is, we use an s here. My company opens from seven. 
um, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Arrive. Who wants to provide me an example with arrive? He arrives at the airport at 5 p.m. Can you repeat that, Scott Robert? He arrives at the airport. He arrives at the at airport. the airport. Mm -hmm. at, at five p.m. At five p.m. Five p.m. Okay. Teacher, I can I can say he arrived home at midnight. He arrived at midnight. Yes, you can say that. Okay, another example with clothes, someone. She closed your eyes. Okay, she closed, she closed, closed her for meditation. Her eyes, uh huh. For medita para meditar, teacher, for meditation. Oh, for meditation. Or oh, when, 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 when pray. Medita, cuando medita. Meditation. How do you say your artist? Pray. 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 Mm -hmm. Pray. Or Pray. when she when is Pray. 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 Mm -hmm. When she's, okay. she's praying. She closes her eyes when she is Brain. Okay, good. Good example. Who else? He goes to war. He goes to work. Uh huh. From Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Okay, good job. Very good. Yes. Do you have questions? Do you have questions about this? No question. No, right. Okay, very good. Um, let me erase this. I'm sorry because I, it's necessary to move on. Next slide. Okay. Now we're going to get in pairs and tell your partner what is a regular day like in your workplace. Your simple present to tell the activities. You and your you and your colleagues do. Okay. Um okay, you are going to discuss with your partner for 10 minutes. I will give you 10 minutes. You're going to discuss what you do in your workplace. And then when you when we uh, come back to the main session, so you are going to tell me what your partner does, okay? For example, if Gilberto wor work with Maria, so Gilberto will tell me will tell us uh, what Maria does, okay? And Maria will explain what Gilberto does, okay? So it means that you have to speak in third person when you report what the other is doing, okay, at the workplace. Is it clear? 
Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So let me um let me break down the rooms. How many students? We are eighteen, but I have to that just the oyentes, Andres and and Mauricio. Uh, let me see who else is oyente. ¿Quién más está de oyente? William? Okay. And, and Silvia. I remember Silvia. So, okay, it means that I will 16, 8. Okay, I will create eight rooms. Okay, Carlos Arceño, you will be in room number one, and okay, and Cindy. Okay, and then Daniela Lisette, room two, and Gilberto. Then Hazel, room three, and Julio. Okay, room four will be Kathy and Lady. Room five, uh, Robert and Danilo. Rolando Danilo. Okay, room six will be Salvador Alberto and Wilbur. Room seven. Oh, Maria Leticia and Liliana Laura. Okay, Maria Leticia. I guess she is already working. Are you there, Maria Leticia? Yes. Okay, are you working? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, good. I will also, uh, let me see. Okay, who else? Juliana, are you there? Maria? Amaya? No. Okay, I have William, Mauricio, Jose Andres, and Juliana como oyentes. Entonces no los asignaré. Okay, open all rooms. Okay, you will go to the rooms. If you have questions, please let me know that you have the option to ask for help. Okay, in 10 minutes, we're going to be back in the main station. In order you can report what the other colleague or classmate uh, does in the company. Okay, good. There you go.
Hi. Hello, teacher. I am alone in the group. Danilo is no, Danilo. is no participating. Oh, he's so gente. Danilo is, Danilo is at the hospital with his nephew. Okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't I didn't read that that word. Okay, let me move move you to another group, another team. Okay, let me see. The say dynamic, okay? So you are going to report what other class may does. Okay. Okay, just so I mean just hold me a moment. Let me leave the room and then I will move move you to uh, the other room. Danilo está de oyente, está en el hospital. Oh. Sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, girls, but uh, Robert will join your group, okay? Because um, his partner was not available. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You can continue. Oh. Ok, eh, ¿cómo van en sus reportes? Yo voy avanzado. Excelente. Okay. 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 Call, it, call it deal, right? Okay. okay. Teacher, excuse me, uh, it's called it, I say, uh, call it deal. Uh, it happened, uh, Cindy, tell me about the, uh, her function is her chair in the company is cashier mm -hmm. and the things that I, that her to do is uh call it bills it's called say call it call it bills collect bills collect yes mm -hmm. okay Okay. Oh. Okay, good. Uh, what okay. else to do, Cindy? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Excuse me? Basically. All days do you call it bills? Yes, some days. Okay, good. Uh, teacher, he works in the. She works in the, in the company of energy. Okay. And I say, uh, that I need discount to my my bills. No se vale Okay. Me too. Yeah, me too. Por le voy a decir yo. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, in my case, uh, I review my emails every day. Uh, uh, I try to um, uh, dar prioridad. How do you say, teacher, dar prioridad? Give priority. 
And yes, I try to give her priority of the some image and some more important. I uh, try to respond in this in, in this moment. The others uh, could be ways, right? Um I receive I receive call every day of all departments for uh to do permission. Uh, it's it's boss. Hmm? Hello guys. How is everything? Um yes. Everything is good. Ready? Not yet. Ready, Gilberto? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Practice, okay? Practice because when you, when we go back to the main station, so you are going to explain there what you are going to say from the other, okay? See you in the main station in two or three minutes, okay? Okay. 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 Um, our principal activity is telemarketing. We don't have to, we just uh, have calls. We don't have contact with clients face-to-face uh, -face just by, by calls. And my work is basically being the support for them and, and help with the the need, their needs and, and make the contacts that are necessary for for a, a ten specific cases. And my responsibility is to make the goals can be uh, accomplished. Okay. Yes. So for that reason, I I I put that list. I check my email. I have the kickoff for a start the day with my team. I have to uh, to give my teams the strategies to work in at the entire day. I supervise in the activities of the day, and I give the individual support to each sales executive according to what they need. Basically is that it's a lot of activity, but I think we can resume on, on that list. It's very interesting. Yes, it's a really great job. I love my job. I think yeah. at, at Bank of America, I am a very happy person right now. <laughs> Is telemarket? Yes, televendas, full televendas. Ah. Yes, eh. products on on the credit cards. Credit cards. Yes, products. Uh, I don't. Okay. I don't sell the credit card. Okay. We sell uh, alternative products like. Intrafinanciamiento, extrafinanciamiento. Oh, okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. when you have a car with no use, we call you for for make you why start. why don't you use the, the car? <laughs> Maybe some clients they are they are don't have to Banco Promerica at, at their first bank. So they didn't use our credit card. So we call them and and we try to to give um offer um uh, I don't know um un incentivo para que la puedan utilizar. Ah, entiendo. Mm -hmm. Como yes. un un anzuelito. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. 
that's it's we part of what we do. Yes. Uh -huh. That is. And our like like type. Hello, how is sí, everything? Hello. Y, y yo voy a hacer las mías y Mari, la, Mar, María la de ella, María Leticia. Y lo vamos a discutir, ¿verdad? Eh, vaya. O yo le. Ajá. Usted va, va a explicar lo, lo, lo que María no. Leticia hace en su trabajo. Por ejemplo, ah. por ejemplo, she uh, calls the customers. That is one example. Or she receives medicines, okay? Um, and me and Maria Leticia will explain what you, what are your activities, okay? For example, for example, what? Tell me one activity that you do in the in your job, Liliana. Eh, de Maria, hola mía, de Maria. Mm, sorry, Liliana. Yeah, one activity. Espera. Yo la voy a decir de Maria, hola mía. A usted. La suya quiere ahorita. Ok, vaya. Eh, en inglés o español le dije. <risa> Va bien, en español. Eh, yo entro a las 7. Como trabajo en una planta de bombeo, tengo que ver cuánta. ¿Cuánto es el.? ¿Cómo le puedo decir? Una numeración, como tenemos un manómetro del agua que va marcando. Entonces, yo a las 7 tengo que anotar ese número. Y tenemos una hoja de reporte y anotamos. También okay. vemos los litros por segundo, cuánto baja el agua. Sacamos una fórmula cada hora. Ajá, cada hora hacemos eso. Y me, eh, el despacho me pregunta a mí, así como radio de policía, así, eh, con acá hace cuánto, mi reporte. Entonces, mi reporte, cuánto tengo de presión y todo eso. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes, but try to, to explain that in English, ok? Try, try to do it in English because uh, Maria will need the ideas in English. So, uh -huh. so you okay. make sure the water... Uh, what is that? ¿Es como un tanque o qué es? Ajá, una planta de bombeo, ajá, es, es, es un pozo, pozo de agua, ajá. Entonces, cuando el agua dentro del pozo así, ahí la, la, la numeración marca. Entonces, se ven cuántos litros por segundo, la presión de agua, todo eso. Ok, you measure the, the water pressure. So, that will be one. So, the other one will be you report, ok, Liliana reports the water pressure so so uh try to make sure what are the ideas okay cuál separe las ideas y eso es lo que usted va a decir mm -hmm. okay okay thank you okay the activities that you do mm -hmm. okay okay good um see you in one or two minutes okay because it's, it's almost almost time okay Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. Yo he puesto que su día normal, ella entra a las 7 de la mañana. En las contextos, he, uh, Salvador, writes report of cost control and then he update, updated. Mm -hmm. event of container for each each gate gate out if gate out uh -huh. gate out and, and gate in the pots yes. of, and terminal es como yes. que eh, salidas y entradas algo así sí ingresos y salidas de contenedores de los depósitos y terminales ah ok uh, do you work in in Acajutla uh, yes, I work in a Cajutla port. <laughs> port, uh -huh. okay. Are you port ready, is... guys? Ready? I will okay. uh, send you back to the main station, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes, we finished. Very, very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Listo, entonces. Okay.
Welcome back, everyone. Okay, very good. Good activity. I went to visit all your rooms. And I, I listened to you. Everybody was talking, okay? And, and talking about your experiences or your activities, right? That you do every day at work. Very good. Okay, uh, before we continue, I was searching for the explanation about the verb to be. I have one brief explanation here. We use the verb to be about when we talk about names, professions, nationalities, age, feelings, and marital status. Okay, so the examples that we have here, uh, the one that I was telling you, I'm not unhappy or I'm not happy. Okay, that is one example. Professions. I am an architect. Are you an architect? Yes or not? Okay. If your mar marital status, if you are single, you are married, um, divorced, any. Um, nationalities, for example, if you are from El Salvador, if you are from London, any place, any country. Okay, uh, feelings, yeah, we say about that. And what else? Names, about names, I am, for example, I am Gilberto, I am Lady, and Liliana, okay? Th those are the, the, the examples, okay? When we use verb to be, when we talk about names, professions, nationalities, age, feelings, and marital status. And then when we use the verb to do, it is just to talk about routines, habits, and facts, okay? That is basically the differences between the use of verb to do and verb to be. Tomorrow we're going to see more examples, um, grammatical examples, okay? But now we're going to continue and you're going to present your conversation, what the other classmate does in the workplace. Who wants to be volunteer? Just raise your hand. Okay, Maria Leticia. Maria Leticia, you were working with uh, Liliana, Liliana, right? Okay, go ahead. You are room six. Okay, uh, Liliana's normal day. She enters at seven in the morning. She makes a water quality report. Every hour she also cleans and keeps her works at Iria City due to her pregnancy. Pre the baby. <laughs> to hear pregnancy, she suffers from sleeping attack. Sometimes she leaves work at 11 in the evening. Only teacher. Okay, you said that Liliana is pregnant? Yes. Oh, okay, Liliana. So you need to be careful. Yeah, you need to take care of your baby. Okay, good job, Maria Leticia, using the letter S. Okay, in the in the verse that you use with the third person. Thank you. Okay, Liliana, tell me about about Maria. Maria Leticia. <laughs> um, she serves as a customer in pharmacy. She's customer service. Mm -hmm. Um, um, she was 10 minutes to work. She walked, mm -hmm. she walked 10 minutes. Um, press on Tuesday in Thursday. So, the only <laughs> She rests uh -huh, on Tuesday, on Tuesday and, and Thursday. Okay. 
y despacha medicina, no, no, no sé cómo. Se... Ok, she sells, porque sí la vende, right? Sí Ajá, la vende. Bien, sí. She yes. sells, she sells medicine. Medicine. She sells. Vende, sells. Medicine. Ok, what else? Um, y... Entra a... ¿Cómo se dice entra? Patrón. Entra... Enters. Ajá, pero entra en la mañana. Entra a trabajar. Starts. She starts. Start. Starts. In, ajá. Night I am. Y... Sale de work. <laughs> And leaves. A la five. Thirsty p.m. She leaves her job at 5.30 p.m. Uh -huh. I'll leave. Okay. Okay, Liliana, make sure that you emphasize the use of third person. Okay, when we are, when you are speaking about other um what other people do. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Who else wants to be volunteer? Me, teacher. Another couple. Okay, Carlos. Okay, uh, Cindy, are you ready? Okay, he's ready. Okay. Um, okay, Cindy, uh, tell me about the awards in the, of the cashier at the electric power company. And she called electric bills all day. Uh, she worked from 7 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. And she interacts with customer. I'm only a teacher. Okay. She collects bills. She collects electric bills or, mm -hmm. or, or bills only? Uh, bills only. Okay. You can say electricity, okay. electricity bills. Electricity bills. Okay. Mm -hmm. Collects. Remember to be, to to pronounce the S. In she collects. Mm -hmm. Interacts. Interacts with customers. Yeah. yeah, interacts with customers. Okay. Good. Thank you, okay. Carlos. Okay. What Thank about you? Yes, Cindy. Okay. Uh, my partner told me. That he cleans his desk. That he goes to work at 7 a.m. and leaves at 4 p.m. He also checks his email. Mm -hmm. Also receives calls from other departments of the company. That's, that's it, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good job. Okay, guys. So because of the time, we're going to leave this activity for tomorrow. First, uh, first activity. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> sorry. I will save your names here. Let me see the order that you well. The rooms, right? That we have. Either you here you are. Tomorrow we're going to continue. So now we're going to work in the homework number six. Okay, we have two minutes to do that. Homework number six. Go to the platform. So I'm going to report your scores today. The one that we have for section one. Section two, homework number that was section one, section two. Next. <clears throat> Six. Okay. 
Number one, my boss cleans, cleaning or clean his office every day. Cleans. 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 Okay. I work in, I work or I worked from Monday to Friday. I work. I work. Okay. My sister don't take, no takes or doesn't take a shower every day. Doesn't take. Doesn't, doesn't take. take. Doesn't take. Okay. The bus leave or leaving or leaves the station at 4 a.m. Leaves. 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 Okay. Leaves. I not like, don't like, or doesn't like playing soccer. Uh, I don't, don't like. like. Don't like. Okay. Good job. Very good. Okay, there you have this, the homework number six. Good job. So that will be everything for today. Thank you so much for your attendance. See you tomorrow. And if 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 you have time, you can uh, get ready and practice your your conversation or what you are going to say about your partner tomorrow okay see you tomorrow have a good night see you tomorrow thank you tomorrow good night take care good night teacher bye bye good night take care bye bye see you good night teacher good night Juliana